IOE 413 Operating Room Scheduling Study Guide. This question wants you to analyze the patient scheduling model presented in the lecture notes in which patients are scheduled to blocks of surgical time. This is the formulation presented in class and I've denoted the objective function value Z sub IP. Okay, so this is the integer programming version of this model. Now it's also possible to make a linear programming version that's called an LP relaxation because what we do is we, we relax this constraint. So that rather than being a binary variable, 0, 1, an integer variable, if we just restrict it to be less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to 0, okay, so we take off the restriction has to be 0 or 1, we just say it's between 0 and 1, we can have a linear program, and this is the resulting linear programming relaxation, where we have x sub ij is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. Now, we denote here the objective function value is z sub lp, because this is now a linear programming model. The problem says let's denote the optimal objective function value for the integer program as z star ip, and the optimal objective function for this linear program as z star lp. And the question asks, what do we know must be true about the relationship between z star ip and z star lp, and why is this useful? So let's consider in Venn diagram form the sets of feasible solutions for the IP here and for the LP version. Clearly, any IP solution to this problem would also be feasible for the linear program. However, there may be solutions that are feasible to the linear program that are not feasible to the integer program. Because there are more solutions that are feasible for the linear program, the optimal objective function value for the linear program is going to be a lower bound on the optimal objective function for the integer program. Okay. If these two sets were exactly the same, then z star lp would be the same as z star ip. But there may be some solution that isn't integer, integer, right, that has some fractional value, some solution to the lp that is not an integer solution that actually creates a better optimal objective function value for the lp relaxation, in which case z star lp would be strictly less than z star ip. But we certainly know that z star lp is less than or equal to z star ip. Now, why is this useful? It's useful in terms of verification. Suppose you solve the ip version, and then you solve the lp relaxation, okay? If you get that your z star lp, your best lp you can get is strictly greater than the optimal objective function value for the IP, okay, then you have a problem. I can't tell you exactly where the problem is, maybe in your code, it may be in how you specified the model and you put it into the code. I don't know, but this is one of the checks you can use in verification of an integer programming model to see whether there's a problem. It's easy to do the relaxation, then solve the LP and see it, whether the best solution to the LP is greater than the best solution to the IP. And if it is, then you go back, you need to go back and take a closer look and see what happened.